QuickBooks Online 2021. Generate reports without account numbers. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2021. Here we are in our QuickBooks Online account numbers test file. In prior presentations, we set up our test file. We turned on the account numbers by going to the cog up top, going to the accounting and settings. Then we went down to the advanced settings down below on the left hand side turning on the account numbers. Once the account numbers were on, we then added the account numbers. So I'm gonna close this back out. And if we go then to the accounting tab on the left-hand side, we now see that we have our chart of accounts and we added our account numbers and they look great. But at this point in time, we might wanna generate the reports and the reports will then be using the account numbers in order to help to order the reports, the ordering of the reports, which will first be in order by basically account type, in, other, in essence, the balance sheet on top of the income statement. But then within each category, it will be ordered by account number. The problem could be that we have account numbers then in the reports, and you might want to then generate reports without account numbers and see, we'll think about a couple methods we might take in order to do that. So if I go back up top, for example, and I right click on this tab and duplicate this tab, let's open up our main two reports, balance sheet and income statement. So I'll duplicate the tab again right click on the tab up top duplicate again we'll open up the good old balance sheet and the income statement otherwise known as the p and l the profit and loss so we'll go down to the reports on the left hand side i'm going to open up the p and l first and the tab furthest to the right let's do the date range change up top from 010120 to 123120 we're going to go ahead and run that report close up the burger hold down control scroll up just a bit Let's do the same thing to the report to the left, which is, of course, going to be the balance sheet report going down to the reports on the left hand side, opening up then the balance sheet report range change up top for the date range 010120 to 123120. Then we're going to go ahead and run it and then close up the good old burger up there as well. So now we can see in these reports, of course, we've, we've got the account numbers in place within the reports. So that is nice because, of course, that then is going to help us to sort the accounts within the category. So it's first sorted by, as we said, assets and then liabilities and then equity. And then within the assets, we got the account groups, uh, the account types that will be involved, including the bank accounts, the accounts receivable, other for the accounts, uh, the asset accounts. And then within those groups, we've got then the uh, ordering by account number rather than by alphabetical order. So you can see that here. You can see it clearly with the fixed assets as we saw in a prior presentation. Now having the fixed asset on top, even though accumulated depreciation in that category would be on top if it was using alphabetical order, which would look weird and does when you don't have the account numbers. And then you, if you see the liabilities, then of course we have the liabilities and then the account groups within the liabilities or the account types, I should say, accounts payable, other current liabilities, long-term liabilities, and then the equity accounts. On the income statement, it's a little bit more clear to see the effect of the account numbers. If we go on over to the income statement, because we only have basically two main categories of accounts, income and expense type of accounts, especially within the expense type of accounts, you can see how you can get a lot more control over the ordering of the accounts, possibly doing something like put in the accounts that have the larger dollar amounts that are more important, possibly, at the top. Uh, of the report or ordering in whatever way that you think would be most useful with regards to the income statement and the income statement can of course be quite long so having control over the ordering of the expenses for example can be quite useful with the account numbers however now we have account numbers in there and you might say well what if i want to print the report without account numbers maybe i don't think it's as professional to have the account numbers in the report i kind of like to remove them well, there's no easy way within the setting really to, to, to just take off the account numbers in uh, the setting. One way, of course, is simply to turn off the account numbers and then generate the reports. So we could take a look at that, but it will also, you would think here, reorder the, the accounts down below. So let's take a look at it. We got the accounts here, rents on top. Obviously, that's because that's driven by an account number. If we remove the account numbers, we'll still have the same ordering in that we'll have income and then expense accounts meaning it'll still be an order by accounts type, but then within the categories, such as within expenses, uh, it will know, it'll be in, in alphabetical order by default. So let's check that out first. So our first option might be to go to the cog up top, accounting uh, and settings, 
and then go back into our advanced setting on the left hand side advanced setting on the left and then we'll go into the account numbers here and say let's turn it off just so i can generate the reports now the account number should not go away then so we don't want to like lose the account numbers altogether here because i don't want to have to put them back in place i just want to print the reports without an account number so we can then say save it and then done it save it and done it and then it should uh, adjust our reports we might have to refresh the reports but if i take a look at them they refreshed them already i got to do the range change again 010120 to 123120 run it close the burger and so there we have it now it's been readjusted here and it looks nice because it doesn't have the account numbers and we might like that but now of course it's in order down here as we can see in the expenses with advertising on top and it's because within the category of expenses within that account type the advertising advertising um is the first it starts with an a and it's like in alphabetical order so one thing you could do is you, you could still do some sorting without the account number. So for example, you might want like the largest number on top. And so you can still do some sorting with without the account numbers like that. So for example, I might say like in the sorting drop down up top, I might say sort in descending order, descending order. And so now you got kind of like within these categories. It, it, and it's nice here because it, it doesn't, it still put, you know you still have income accounts and then expense accounts so it's not gonna it didn't change the account types in this example here which is nice but within the account types that's when we're saying hey look put the biggest number on top and so that might be a nicer way to see the report so that could be useful without the account numbers you have some control but again if you have like sub accounts and and more complex type of income statement then the account numbers is going to give you more control than that so you might say well now you know i kind of like to have both the ordering as if I had account numbers, but like with the account numbers not included. So one way you can do that is try to export it to Excel, right? And then and then remove the account numbers in that way. So if you wanna if you wanna then say, okay, I'm gonna turn the account numbers back on just to show that they haven't disappeared, that should put it back in the other order. And then we'll export it to Excel and say, okay, can we clean this thing up in some other way than just simply turning off the account numbers, defaulting us back into reordering the accounts in the way that we didn't want them to be ordered possibly in the first place so i'm going to go to the cog up top we're going to go to the account and settings once again and then we're going to go into the advanced area because we're advanced accountants here we're in the advanced area so it can kind of worry some people to hit that advanced button but no we're experts so then we're going to go into the chart of accounts and then we're going to turn the account numbers back on i'm going to click this little thing off and save that and then we're going to say done save it done and that should turn the account numbers back on reordering our report so we got to range change it again which we'll do 010120 to 123120 run it burger closed scrolling back down then we have it ordered again by the account numbers now let's export it and let's just see well you know is there an easy way for me to get rid of the account numbers and it's it's not the easiest way but there's there's a couple ways we could do it so i'll just show you how we might want to do that we could say all right i want to get rid of the account numbers but not change the order let me try to do a good old export to excel and do some excel magic magic work in excel excel's where most magic in the world happens the place of magic so then I'm going to hold down controls. We'll scroll up a bit. So there we have our, our report. Now you could do kind of like a formula that would, would extract the first three or what is that? Five digits and try to use the formula that would then uh, extract it. Another way you could do it here. I mean, obviously you could go in here and just each one of these accounts, I'm going to double click on it and like remove the account number. So that could work for if there's only like two accounts here, I'll just remove the account number. Okay, there it is. And then if you have all these accounts, you might say, well, is there a better way I can do that? Like, you know, I'd like to do it without having to double click if I had the sh a long list of accounts to do this. And it's like, all right, I can do that pretty quickly. I can, I can copy this. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it over here. And then notice it's got a wrapping feature on it because it's wrapping the cells. And I like to remove that anyways by default. So that's going to be in the home tab alignment. And I'm going to get rid of the wrapping feature. So now it's, it, it'll go over one cell. And then I'm gonna expand column D 
and then I'm just going to try to mirror this same thing without the account numbers. And one way you can do it is that, you know, Excel will start to read what it's trying, what you're trying to pick up. And I think that's one of the easiest ways. It's, it's not very cool because it's not a cool formula, but it's pretty easy. You could just say like rent. I'll just start typing this in here, lease. And then the off and the second one office, it starts to say, Hey, is, are you trying to type the words without the numbers? And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'll just hit enter. And then it does the whole list for me. So if you have a whole long list like that, then you can change that. And then I could just say, all right, now let's just copy this and I'll paste it right back in here. And I'm going to paste it uh, with just the values. I'll paste it with the values only. So it doesn't, it doesn't change the formatting values only. And then I want to indent it. I lost my indenting. So I'll go to the home tab alignment indent. And there we have it. So obviously that would be something you could do for long lists. If it's not a long list, if it's just one thing, I could just delete that. And there we have it. So it's not, you know, the cleanest way of, of, uh, of, of doing it. You got to do a little bit more work uh, to, to do that. And you may still have some formatting issues with it, but it looks, it looks pretty good. And then you can, of course, delete these two rows like that. So that takes a, a it'd be nice if you could just kind of turn them off and on in, in QuickBooks in the report. But in this format, you can delete them even with a pretty long financial statement, you know, pretty easily and then and then print it out in Excel. What doesn't take too much time. And again, it could be something that kind of sets you apart from other people that that don't know how to do that. Right. You can you can make reports fairly easily and then you could save this also as a as a PDF file, too. So once you're in here, you could say, I want to save it save as and then and then uh, you could save it as a P PDF I think you could simply browse I usually use a PDF printer but then you could save it if it's just one sheet you can hit the drop down I believe and save it then here as a PDF so it's right there right save it as a PDF now if you have multiple sheets however and you want to print them all as a PDF, you can also print them on one sheet, as we've seen in prior presentations, using something like a, a PDF printer. So for that, you'd go to the printer option, and you would use a, a Q, I use a cute PDF printer. It's a free option, so you could search for it. And then instead of printing it to a printer, it'll send it to a cute PDF printer. And the advantage of that is that you could do that for not only just one sheet, but you can do it for multiple sheets. You can hit the workbook and, and print the entire workbook and then you can print multiple reports on one PDF file. So in that format, then you can actually remove the account numbers and you can put like a balance sheet, income statement, multiple other reports into one file, which again, can, can set you apart because some people, you know, that takes a little bit of maneuvering to be able to do that. Also just realize that, that this is a little out of center here. And you could do more more formatting in Excel to kind of clean that up if you so choose. If you want to kind of center this thing, you could see here, this is where the um, the the end is, that, that dotted line. And you usually get that by going to the layout and then back on over. That's what I do. And, that, and then you could see where the end is. So if you wanted to, you know, uh, adjust this report a bit and try to center it more and, and do things like that, obviously you can do those types of functions within Excel, you have a lot of options to do that kind of stuff too.